All right, so in this problem, we are going to solve the system of equations, and we are going to do so using two methods, the substitution and elimination method. We're going to begin solving with the elimination method, and that means that we want to eliminate one of the two variables, the x or the y, by manipulating the coefficients and subtracting the or adding the um, expressions to one another. All right, so in order to um, eliminate the x's, we need to find the least common factor that multiplies to both of them. So if we multiply the first equation by 5 and the second equation by 6, we will get coefficients of 30. And if we subtract the two expressions by one another, we can eliminate them. So we will do so by multiplying the first equation by 5 and the second equation by 6. So we have 5 times 6x, which gives us 30x, minus 5 times 11y, which gives us a negative 55y, and 8 times 5, which gives us positive 40. All this equals 0, and our second equation multiplied by 6 gives us 30x minus 6 times 9y, which gives us a negative 40, 54y, and 6 times 6, which gives us a positive 36, equals 0. Now we are going to subtract the two equations by one another, and that will cancel out our 30x. So we have 30x minus 55y plus 40, minus our second equation, which is 30x minus 54y plus 36, equals 0 minus 0. All right, so now let's distribute this negative right over here into our parentheses. So we have 30x minus 55y plus 40, minus 30x plus 54y minus 36. All this equals 0. All right. So now we can see that the 30x's are going to cancel out, and now we can add our common factors, which is our y. So we have negative 55y and positive 54y, so we are left with a negative y. And our constants, we have 40 minus 36, which gives us a positive 4 equals 0. So in order to isolate this y to find its value, we can add y on both sides. So we have 4 equals y, or y equals 4. So our value for y is 4, and now we can pick which equation we want to plug this y into, the first or the second one, and find the value of x. So let's plug it into our first equation. We have 6 times x minus 11 times y, which our y now we know is 4, plus 8 equals 0. So now we have 6x minus 44 plus 8 equals 0. So now we're going to combine our like terms. So we have 6x minus 36 equals 0. And if we add 36 to both sides in order to isolate the x, we have 6x equals 36. And we're going to divide 6 on both sides in order to isolate completely the x. And now we have x equal to 6. So the value of y, uh, the value of x is 6, and the value of y is 4. And if we take a look at our answers, that matches exactly with answer b. So these are our values for x and y, and that was using the elimination method, and now we will solve using the substitution method. All right, so using the substitution method, we want to take one of our variables, the x or the y, and isolate them in one of our equations and plug that value or expression into the other equation. All right, so let's isolate the x from the first equation, and if we do so, we have 6x equals 11y minus 8. What we did is just moved these two terms to the other side of the equal sign. And now we are going to divide 6 on both sides in order to isolate the x. So we have x equals 11y minus 8 all over 6. All right, so now we're going to take this expression and plug it into our x value of our second expression. So we have 5 times our x, which we just found out is 11y minus 8 all divided by 6 minus 9y plus 6 equals 0. All right, so now let's distribute this 5 into our parentheses. And if we do so, we have 5 times 11y, which gives us 55y minus 40 all over 6 minus 9y plus 6 all equals 0. Now, in order to get rid of this denominator so it's easier for us to solve this expression, we can multiply the entire expression by 6, and that will get rid of our denominator. So if we do so, we have 55y minus 40 minus 9y times 6, which gives us a negative 54y 
and 6 times 6 gives us 36, and 6 times 0 gives us 0. All right, so now let's combine our like terms. We can add our 55y and negative 54y, which gives us positive y. Then we have negative 40 plus 36, which gives us a negative 4, equals 0. Now, in order to find the value of y, we are going to add 4 on both sides, and we have y equals 4. Now that we know the value of y, we can plug it into this expression here to find the x value. So if we do so, we have x equals 11 times y, which is our 4, minus 8 all over 6. Now we are going to simplify by multiplying the 11 and 4. So we have 44 minus 8 all over 6. And 44 minus 8 gives us 36 divided by 6. And if we simplify 36 divided by 6, that gives us 6. All right, so our value of x is 6 and our value of y is 4. And we got these same answers using the, the elimination method and the substitution method. And these two answers lead us to answer B in our problem.